Hey YouTube, this is Bill. Uh, I've been doing a lot of videos lately on speakers, live sound speakers, but I just recently purchased these set of, this set of headphones and I was so impressed. Uh, I thought I really wanted to get this out to uh, others who might be in the same market. Anyway, this, this uh, CD here, I put here just to give you an idea of the size, but also this is where my, my journey started in um, high resolution music, basically. Dire Straits, Brothers in Arms, back in 1985. And again, everybody was listening to vinyl. And, but this was the very first, I believe, digital recording. And it was, a, it was incredible. I know a lot of people have gone back to vinyl, but this was kind of where my journey of high end audiophile music started. So that I just thought I would throw that in. Anyway, so today's, um, review is about a headphone that's been out for a while. It's been out since 2015. It's by the, the company called Philips, and it's called the X2HR. HR stands for high resolution. And uh, the reason why I thought I would make the video is kind of soon, because uh, it's being discontinued. They've replaced it with a new model called the X3, and I've actually read some reviews that um, in some ways that model's better, in some ways it's it's a step down. So uh, this is being blown out. And so right now the price is, is very, very reasonable. I got it for uh, $149 on Amazon. And it has been as low as 120. And it's starting to go up, creep up again because of supply and demand. Uh, as stores, many, many stores aren't even carrying it anymore. And so you might see it creep up from, from 150. That's one of the reasons why I'm buying this video. I, I'm sorry, this is one of the reasons why I'm making this video to get to give you some people a heads up. This, the original uh, um, headphone was, was 300 back in 2015. And now again, it's gone down considerably. It has all kinds of reviews, very, very popular headphone. On Amazon, I counted uh, 3, 000, over 3,600 reviews. So I'll just, I'll just be one more adding to that list. And I wanna go over some of the reasons why I, I'm very impressed with it. So some people are labeling this as the best budget audiophile headphone. And I have to agree. It has a V-shaped um, V-shaped sound signature. And what that means is the bass is boosted and the highs are boosted and the middle is the middle mids are maybe not as pronounced. So what I've noticed is that the bass is, is really beautiful. It's really, really clean and it's, it has a lot of presence. So if you um, have music like that, you'll definitely appreciate this. One of my original headphones was uh, the, the Monster Beats, which they were known for great, great bass. So this has, this has all the bass that that headphone has, but uh, it has the clarity that goes along with it. Like I said, on that V-shape, this has really nice clear highs. So that's, um, that's a sound signature that I like. So people are saying this is a considered a fun headphone and it has, or a jack of all trades, where it, it just really covers a lot of genres. One, uh, so it's covering rock and roll, jazz, vocals. I, I don't think it's the best headphone for, for a classical, again, I do have a, a higher end headphone that I would use for classical music, but this pretty much covers everything else. Again, I'm not a gamer, but I've I read that this is a very good gaming headphone. You can get a, a V-Mata mic, and you can pair that up, and it's, it's supposed to be a very uh, good pairing for, for gaming. Okay, comfort. This thing is, is wonderful. Um, I, I'm pretty picky about headphones. If, if a f headphone touches my ear in any place at all, I just it just drives me crazy. This one is, is really nice and large. Um, it's very comfortable. The pads are made of memory foam. Again, some people on the, on the web are saying that they didn't like it. It made their ears sweaty. I didn't find that at all. I find it really soft. And the headband is it's very soft. But as you can see, they're, they're, they're large. They are large headphones. This is not something you want to walk around outside. I don't know how you, you might stand out, but the sound would be great. And the, the construction is all, is all pretty much metal. A lot of headphones today you find 
a lot of plastic on them and they break. This, this thing is, is super tough, tank-like, tank built like a tank, and it has a lot of metal. It has a beautiful uh, uh, headband right here, and it's made of leather. So I took a little Lexus leather treatment and I put it on there and it made it a little shiny. It smells good. So it looks, it looks, it look, I think it's an attractive looking headphone, but that's again, that's not what I'm looking for. It's open back. So what that means is, again, let me show you on the side. So right here, all the sound comes out of these ear cups, 50 millimeter ear cups. So this is not the headphone you wanna be playing if you're near people who, who really don't wanna hear your music. This is probably a headphone you wanna use um, when you're alone or when you have some privacy and you wanna enjoy the best sound. I believe uh, open back headphones are considered a higher quality sound than the closed back. Closed back is uh, the opposite where people next to you can hear it. So again, I have a pair of closed back headphones near my bed, and so I'll use those when uh, I don't want to wake everybody up, right? I, I still want to listen to music. Studio musicians use closed back headphones because they don't want that sound bleeding out and the microphones in the studio can pick it up. The other thing I want to mention is um, I, I, was, I was actually playing these headphones, just breaking them in. I just got them two days ago and I was breaking them in, playing some, some music at maybe 90% on the phone. And literally across the, the family room into the kitchen, you could, I could hear these things. That, that's how much the, the sound bleeds through. So again, if you want to use these as, again, it's not the purpose, but if you want to use these as just a little background music without wearing them, you can definitely hear these from a distance. Again, that is not what they're made for. They are 30 ohms. And that is, that's how they measure um, the resistance. Again, I'm not sure exactly what it means, but it means something to do with the, the efficiency of a headphone. And so, for example, I bought a pair of headphones, which were a mistake. I bought a pair of headphones that are 250 ohms. And I found out later, those are strictly for studios and you need a very powerful studio amp to run them properly. No way you can make them work with, a, with an iPod or an iPhone. So in comparison to that 250 ohm headphone, which is very hard to, to power properly, this, this health headphone is only 30 ohms, which is considered very low. So this headphone can be played with just your phone or a tablet fairly well. Again, um, you're not gonna get the full sound quality. You're not gonna get the full volume that, that a little headphone amp is going to be able to give you. And I'm gonna share that with you in a little while. Okay, again, a couple of the cons, and that is it has a, a cable here. There it is, and it's, it's huge. It's about 10 or 11 feet. So I don't know if I'm allowed to copy um, jokes from, from another reviewer. I don't know if they, they're copyrighted, but one, some guy said, uh, this cable's so long you can use it to get out of an uh, apartment if there was an emergency or something. Another guy said this headphone is so strong it, it could lash the uh, nuclear Armageddon. And another guy said it's so strong he was over 200 pounds and he sat on it and it's still, it's fine. Uh, luckily I'm not that kind of weight, I can't test it out. Okay, cons, besides, besides the length of the cable, by the way, the cable is detachable, which is, which is very good. And you can, you can swap it out and there's all kinds of cables on the internet. It's heavy, it's big. Um, I found it very, very, super comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Like I said, I've only had it for two days now, breaking it in. But there, there's a little bit of clamping, tight clamping compared to some other headphones I have. Maybe that might break in, maybe it won't. So that's something that, but it's not a deal breaker for me. Like I said, the pads are very, very comfortable, super soft. And the headband, uh, this, this part right here, it sits on, that's the part that actually sits on your head. It's very, very nice material and it's soft and it's no, no issues in there at all. And again, the ear pads are, are huge, so that's great. Uh, one of the cons I did mention slightly was the, the lack of or, or the strength of, of the mids, midsection. So again, classical violins, this is probably not the best set for that, where this is you're gonna be overpowered by the, the very clear highs and the uh, super tight low end. 
One of the downsides of this headphone that has to be known is the ear pads are made of a nice, very comfortable velour, but they have the downside of picking up everything. They pick up uh, dust and hairs. So if you're that type of person that that would bother, um, these headphones probably aren't you. If you're the kind of person that walks by a picture and you have to strain it, I, I sat down on the couch the first hour I had these and I just put them down, I picked them up and they had all kinds of dust on them. I had a, uh, so I guess you can use a, um, what they used for picking up cat hairs or something. But again, if that bothers you, it's definitely an issue that's been mentioned by uh, most others. On the plus side, it has a very good response to EQ, which means you can change the sound. And I had mentioned that the highs are very crystal clear, the lows are tight and low, um, the, the mids are slightly recessed. So personally, I would boost the mids. And uh, so again, some headphones respond to EQ more than others, and these are one of the ones that are uh, respond well. One of the things that these headphones do well at is uh, watching movies just like gaming, but maybe action movies. Personally, I don't really use headphones for movies. I find uh, two or three hours, I, I don't usually wear headphones that long, so that's not my cup of tea, watching movies with headphones. One of the strongest points of this particular headphone is um, its fantastic sound stage to the point of resembling speakers. So that's a very good point. In my, in my opinion, because um, some, some headphones make you feel closed in, which is sometimes I enjoy that. It feels like you're on the stage with the musicians and this particular headphone feels more like uh, you're not using headphones, more like a conventional speaker. So I, I personally like that a lot. Uh, there's, a, there's a website I wanna point out. It's called ratings.com. It's spelled R-T-I-N-G-S.com. And they, they really go through headphones very thoroughly and they compare this headphone to others. So that's a website you might wanna check out. But what I'm impressive about is uh, it lists this particular headphone as under their six best audiophile headphones. And if you look at the list, two of the headphones are at, one is at $1,600 and the other is at $1,700. So it's, it's pretty, good, um, pretty good to be on that list. That's very impressive. Again, that's my personal opinion. I don't think these headphones are anywhere near top tier headphones, but a lot of people who are very into headphones and have large collections state that these particular headphones are one of the headphones that they, they use more than others, the uh, pricier headphones. So I am powering this with a small amplifier. It's called an Audio, Audio Quest, the blue model. Turquoise, I believe it's called. And it's, it is $300, so that is pricey. So you take this $300 headphone amp and it, cha it changes completely the, the quality of the sound. It, it, it's, it, adds, it bumps it up to another level. That's how good that uh, little headphone amp is. By the way, that's a, called a DAC, Digital Analog Converter and a Headphone Amplifier. So when you take that $300 amplifier and you add it to the uh, $150 pair of headphones. So for $450, it's just, I was, I was shocked. That's why, I, like I said, I kind of rushed to make this video because the, these headphones might, might not be around too much longer. Once they're, they're blown out, um, and well, I, I believe Walmart has them, and of course Amazon, that, that's gonna be it. You're not gonna be able to find these anymore. And then, then the price will jump. Then on eBay, you'll, you, People will be asking for 450, 500, because it'll be a rare headphone. And many, many people, again, all those reviews are stating that this is one of their stables in their collections. If you, if you have a headphone collection, I do have uh, quite an assortment, but I, all my headphones are uh, low end or medium, medium grade. I have nothing on the high end. I don't, I don't have any headphones in the $1,500 range or $2,000, or I guess they even go up to 4,000 now. It's, but so the, these really are, it's everything I need. So when I listen to this combination, again, with this headphone amp, DAC, Audio Quest, Turquoise, with, the, um, with these new headphones, the X2 HRs from Philips, I, I was amazed. And I said to myself, wow, 
this, this kind of sounds like my, the system I've been building, uh, which I am planning on to sharing with, with the, uh, on YouTube, and that is, you know, a th many thousands of dollar system. So it's pretty impressive. It really meets all my headphone needs, uh, but I'm not a big headphone collector. Okay, that's about everything I have about it. Again, um, anybody have any questions? I do have a number of other headphones. I'm not gonna go through them now, but if you wanna ask how they compare to others, I might, I might have that pair. Again, I don't have any of the high-end phones, so don't ask me about those particular ones. Nothing, nothing above $500 in my collection. Okay, hope you enjoy. If you enjoyed the video, I, I do plan on sharing uh, the whole collection. My, like I said, my mid-fi collection of headphones. I, this is the first pair of headphones I bought in, in a number of years. I'm not really a headphone um, pro. I'm mainly, in, like I said, I'm mainly into live speakers for, for musicians. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.